A Post Falls pizza driver stranded after thieves took his car and phone. His message to you, don't leave your car running. This could happen to anyone. KXLY 4's Ariana Cohen is working for you. With, she spoke with a driver, Ariana, he was in quite a predic predicament. What happened? Yes, Grace. Well, Domino's delivery drivers use their personal cars to get around, and Jeff Decker says he was never prepared for what happened to him. Post Falls Domino's delivery driver Jeff Decker says his delivery route on Thursday night started out like any other. There wasn't really anything unusual about it other than it was a large order. On his first delivery, he couldn't find the correct address of the home. That's when he saw three teenagers walking down Corbin Road, two boys and one girl, directing him to deliver the pizzas to this greenhouse. Didn't really think anything of it. Uh, one of them came up to me. He's like, oh yeah, it's this, this house right behind me. So I back up and get out of the car. My hands are full. It's a huge order and I go up to the gate. He left his car running and then... And I hear my tires squealing and the three kids jumped in and took off. He says the teenagers stole his car within minutes. It happened that fast. Wasn't anything that I would ever expect to happen around here. And it was planned. Because they gave me a fake address and that the house they directed me to she didn't know anything about it. She's like, I didn't order any food. So it was intentional whether they were looking for a vehicle or whether they were just looking for a vehicle to, to trade for drugs or something. He couldn't even call for help. Decker's brand new cell phone, which he got as a Christmas gift, was inside the stolen car. The woman living inside this home called the police and gave him a warm coat to wear out in the freezing temperatures. He filed a police report and is still hoping to get his car back. That was our main family car. It's devastating for, for our family. And here is another photo of Jeff Decker's car. If you see it, it is a 2009 gray Toyota Corolla with a spoiler on the back and the license plate number K7979. Reporting in the studio, I'm Ariana Cohen, KXLY4 News.